eyes. Look your last. Arms, take your last embrace. And oh, you lips. Lips, the doors of breath. Seal your one last righteous kiss. To my love. Are you Romeo Montague? Yes. You've been served. <laughs> Here in court? Sued for damages by the king of my beloved Nobis. Were it thy Romeo, thy face sweeter than heaven itself. What hath my family done? Yet again we are torn asunder. My heart cannot take another blow from me. Please tell the course what moment you're in. Oh, yes, of course. 
Um, in my expert opinion, yes, it seems that Romeo is malingering, and malingering is the um, faking of symptoms and illness in order to gain sympathy or um, basically not hold responsibility. Hmm. Interesting. No further questions. Any questions from the defense? Yes, Judge. Dr. Knapp, what was the reason for the, ch for the test you chose to administer to Mr. Montague? Because after all, those tests aren't actually allowed in court. I don't know what you're talking about. I use them in my clinical practice all the time. They're more than valid. I don't know where you're getting your information from. Well, according to clinical psychology, the book found in the teacher's library reserve. <laughs> the feedback and perception test, the Rorschach test, and the sentence completion test mm -hmm. are all considered unacceptable and invalid in the state of court. Oh. Uh, I'll have to look into that then. No further questions. Are there any further witnesses for the prosecution? Uh, no, Judge. Then you may take that for now. Thank you. I'd like to call Romeo to the stand, Judge. <gasps> <laughs> All right, then, friends, moving along. I have dinner waiting for me at home. <laughs> <laughs> Romeo, could you please state your testimony? <clears throat> Thou may ask. <laughs> Have Queen Mab touched me? And to that I say, who hath not been? Who hath not been enraptured by the chaos that from the heart doth flow? You charge me for trespassing? Neither walls nor gates will bar me from my dearest Juliet. For from my heart, wings doth sprout that will carry me to her. And you charge me of coercion. Oh, am I not but a slave to the inferno that is love, that unruly fire that swallows all indiscriminately? Mary, I am the victim. <laughs> it pains me so to sit at the edge of my family, the Capulets, <laughs> their sword accused. For I doth love her just as much as they do, if not more. For her, my life is forfeit. Now, I ask of you, does madness grip me? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying is that you should not pay reparations to the Capulet family because you did it for love of Juliet and nothing else. Has my words not been made clear as the night sky? Of course. <laughs> Romeo, thank you very much. You can take your seat. No further questions. Okay, then, counsel. Closing statements. Prosecution, you have the floor. Uh, yes, thank you, Judge. It should be pretty clear to everyone that um, we just witnessed something very special. And not of an insane person, but of someone who you could say is um, overacting. Just <laughs> <laughs> now, if that's not faking, I don't know what is. Please, look inside your hearts and do what you know is right. A family was wronged here, and they need to be paid for damages done to them and their family, because they were done to them by Romeo and Romeo. So, Please, rule in favor of who you know clearly deserves it. This case is not as black and white as the prosecution would have it seen. We are not trying to say that we want to lessen the severity of the emotional damages that Ronnie may have caused the Capular family, because there is not just one victim here, but two. We just want to show that Romeo is not in full control of his mind at the time he was mentally unstable. So we want you to take his, his condition into consideration with reaching your final verdict and um, make the right choice. Thank you. Thank you, counselors. Now we will leave it up to all of you, our jury, to decide the outcome of this case. You will have two options. You can side with the Capulet family and have Mr. Montague pay reparations, or you can side with Mr. Montague and not hold him fully accountable for his actions and not pay reparations. With a show of hands, who is in favor of the defendant, Mr. Montague? And for the Capulets? <laughs> Very well then. 
In the case of Capulet v. Romeo Montague, the court rules in favor of Mr. Montague. And see.